students to one more session of your grade 10 CBSE that is the unit 2 assets basis and solves right students till now we've been studying about assets properties of assets then we have studied about basis their properties their reactions and everything then I have taken a topic called solves in that family of solves also is what I have discussed till now there's one more concept called pH scale or the pH paper that concept also is thought we are almost coming to the end of the chapter right today we will see what actually are the chemicals from common salt what are we going to get how what are the different compounds which are produced from common salt and this is the topic 2.4.3 of your NCRT let's start so normally common salt what is the chemical name of common salt let me uh, see a little bit adjust my mic okay right so common salt the chemical name chemical name of common salt is NaCl okay NaCl that is nothing but sodium chloride so let us write that sodium chloride okay now in this NaCl if I have to speak about this compound so it is a basic raw material for a lot of compounds which we prepare and which and for your grade 10th only five or six compounds are given but if I, if I have to see the whole of chemistry there are a lot of compounds which we use it every day so the basic raw material for all these compounds are is sodium chloride or common salt so as per the grade 10 syllabus you have been assigned to learn different compounds like washing soda washing soda okay you are given a compound called baking soda you are given a compound called caustic soda so for all these compounds the raw material which we are going to use is sodium chloride so NaCl will be used as a raw material for preparing all these three if I have to write the formula washing soda formula is Na2CO3 dot 10 H2O decahydrate we'll be learning the preparation of this we'll be learning the uses of that we'll be learning in an animated form also right baking soda formula is is NaHCO3 when it comes to caustic soda the formula is NaOH so for all these compounds the basic raw material is sodium chloride we'll be adding ammonia we'll be adding carbon dioxide all these things for preparing so the first topic is chemicals from common salt uh, are that is prescribed for your 10th syllabus that is washing soda baking soda and your caustic soda now let's we have learned the formula then we have learned what what chemicals are prepared from your uh, common salt now we'll see what is the reaction for preparing common salt let us erase everything so you can note it in your book so till now you know the formula somebody asks you common salt formula is an ACL you can say what chemicals are prepared you say it is washing soda is prepared baking soda is prepared and caustic soda is also prepared let us see now if I have to see the third part that is preparation right so here preparation if I have to see in the lab so this is preparation in the lab basically we prepare sodium chloride or common salt by a process called neutralization reaction so the procedure which we are going to use is neutralization reaction so in neutralization reaction what are we going to do we are going to take an acid we are going to mix it with a base we are going to get salt and we are going to get water this is done now if I have to see the reaction chemical reaction of this so acid you are going to take HCl nothing but hydrochloric acid you're going to add a base sodium hydroxide to this just see students the center part is already NaCl and the leftover is water so we are preparing sodium chloride or common salt NaCl plus water here so common salt is ready this is the lab preparation but if I have to see naturally occurring ma'am, how is it available naturally means so this is over I think you have noted it let us go to the fourth topic that is occurrence of salt or occurrence of common salt in nature so I am erasing this and taking you to the fourth topic that is occurrence of common salt I am writing in the bracket NaCl now 
so initial in way like in nature so in nature so in nature if i have to speak basically your common salt occurs in nature in two forms one is right let us write so common salt is available in the first thing naturally in the sea water so it is available in sea water right it is also available in one more form that is in the form of a rock that is your in your underground it is also available in underground this is one concept suppose if it is available in the sea water in what form is it available in sea water common salt is available in dissolved form in dissolved form if it is available in underground how is it available it is available in solid form solid form or rock form solid form or rock form okay now if it is available in the dissolved water i need to extract it i need to take it out i need to evaporate it in, in the, uh, with the sunlight and then dry it then purify it and then send it for the transport so all this process which we are going to do if the sea water whatever is there we are going to take out or extract salt by a method called evaporation we i'll tell you how it is made also i'll be showing you an animated video at the end of this particular video where you will be seeing how salt water uh, from the salt water salt is extracted how it is kept in the narrow shallows how it is how it gets evaporated with the sunlight then after that how it is dried how it is dumped in the gunny bags how it is filled means uh, again they taken it for the fine crushing then how the impurities are removed all that i'll be showing in an animated video so as of now remember from the sea water the salt is available in the dissolved form and we are going to extract that by a process called evaporation if it is in the rock form here underground solid form we are going to use a method called mining so by mining i'll dig it um, the mining machines will drill it and take out but here the salt which you get is nothing but the common salt but here the solid form of the salt which you get is nothing but rock salt this is rock salt rock form so this is rock salt this is done students yes now the common salt form or the color or the form of this is white in color white here the rock salt is little bit brown in color brown or slight pinkish in color so brown in color right so i think you have understood the concept of salts let us come back and revise again basically common salt what we are studying it's nothing but your nacl that is sodium chloride so in the lab if you have to prepare you use a uh, reaction that is neutralization reaction what should i remember in neutralization i am taking hcl i am adding sodium hydroxide both combine together and form sodium chloride and water that's done but if i have to see the natural existence of the salt so we do we get we get the salt either in the dissolved form in the sea water or it can be present in the underground in the form of a hard rock solid rock so from the sea water i use a technique called evaporation as i said i'll be using showing you an animated video which you can see it and understand how salt is extracted how it is evaporated how it is further processed in the rock salt or the rock form i use a technique called mining to drill the rock and extract that the salt which is obtained by the sea water is a common salt and the salt which is obtained from the underground rock or the hard deposit is a rock salt so i have written the color here i have written the color here so this is the basic information of the salt now let us see the preparation of your different compounds from the salts so please watch the animated video thank you for watching